The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we'll tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Guelph. Amidst the COVID-19 crisis, Canadian media headlines have replaced athletes and pop culture figures with frontline or essential workers, labeling them as the heroes. Front yard signs and circulated ads by the government of Ontario, for example, are thanking mail deliverers, food processors, and grocery store staff, among others. CIBC is sponsoring a Holidays for Heroes initiative and a Future Heroes Fund to acknowledge those working in healthcare. But how do we talk about heroes? Who are they? In Greek mythology, heroes are descendants of gods and mortals who are bigger, stronger, more beautiful than their common counterparts. This might explain why athletes and other celebrities are regarded as heroes so often. But heroes are also commonly considered to be brave and particularly courageous. They'll go on journeys that have risks. They encounter danger all while being far away from their comfort zones. They achieve or experience something well beyond normal. And this particular understanding helps us realize why doctors, nurses, paramedics, transit operators, truck drivers, janitors, and grocery store staff, among so many others, are being regarded as heroes as they keep important services and businesses in operation. But will this last? Companies and organizations were offering extra pay to frontline workers, an additional $2 per hour, for example. But such hazard pay is temporary and in many cases is now coming to an end. According to advertisements from the Ontario Medical Association, the Ontario government is asking doctors to wait on being paid for the delivery of health care. So once the pandemic is over, Who will be our heroes? Will it be back to professional sports leagues and pop culture stars? Let's hope that our appreciation of frontline and essential workers is not short-lived. This story was adapted from Timothy Dewhurst's article, In Pandemic Times, We Are Reconsidering Who Our Heroes Are, published in University of Guelph News.